All right, so at this point, I'm pretty sure everyone knows just how much of an absolute Chad STRLR Broly is with his Extreme Z Awakening. And in today's video, we're pretty much just gonna keep on showcasing that, keep on proving that by taking him on the Extreme only stage of Extreme Super Battle Road and, you know, see how much he dominates on arguably one of the hardest stages in the entire game. Now, this is the team, as you can see, it's uh, Resurrected Warriors, and we got the SDR LR Broly, as well as the Tech LR Broly, which is, you know, a bit of a bold pick, a bold inclusion, I know, because his defense is pretty bad, but I think we will be able to hide him quite well, and he is by far the best linking partner for the STR Broly, so I kind of had to bring him. But uh, yeah, with all that said, let's get into it. I'm going to pop a Whis first. Okay, and we're kind of choosing between the lesser of two evils because neither of the Broly's are great defensively, you know, before they super, but the Tech Broly is much worse than the STR Broly. So we're going to put STR Broly in the front. It's not ideal, but I think with the Whis, we should be able to survive even if we get double supered. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to go for Trunks first. Um, we should have effective against all since we are facing uh, Goku's family in the Goten so uh, yeah the damage shouldn't be an issue and then let's give these to the tech Broly I think this turn we'll be able to finish off the trunks and then I'm gonna pop the active skill for the Frieza so we can potentially stun the Goten after and not worry about any attacks at the end because trunks is gonna be dead We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so active skill. There we go, Golden Frieza. And we're gonna go for Goten here. There we go, let's see what happens. It would be really sad if after that entire intro, I die on the first turn. Um, it would just be really unfortunate. Okay, so it took a lot of damage there. It took a lot of damage there, but we did survive. And okay, we did get an effective attack. On Trunks didn't do as much damage as I was hoping for. And now we're getting supered. And... Ooh, okay, okay, perfect. We're still alive. We're still alive. That was close. But uh, SDR Broly came through. Alright, we still have about 10% HP left. <laughs> and the normal attacks did double digits. I, I knew normals wouldn't be too bad. Um... But yeah, as you can see, you know, it's extreme to Rabata Road, and it's also extreme only extreme to Rabata Road, which is, I would say, you know, even harder than most of the other events, or other stages, rather. So, that was to be expected. Yo! On the bright side, we got the Incel active skill on our second turn. Okay, okay, it was worth it, it was worth it. That was scary, though. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, that was pretty scary. Okay, so now we get to uh, see the int cell in action, and this is something that I don't think a lot of people say too often, because, you know, falling below 30% HP usually means you're, like, probably dead that turn. So it is pretty rare that we got the cell transformation, so, uh, yeah, we get to see him do some stuff. Maybe we can finish off Goten this turn. Mm oh, oh, good damage, okay. Now uh, the Golden Freeze is not going to do much. Um, yeah, 1.1 mil, 100k, alright, and yeah, the boo doesn't do much damage either. So, yeah, we got one more turn on this stage, but we will be able to finish off the Goten here with our SDR Broly. He's a monster, you guys know that though. Okay, so, uh, let's give these to him. I'm not gonna worry about popping an item. Um, if Goten supers us, we could take... You know, a decent amount, but we should be able to survive that. Oh, that's fine. Normal, okay. And Goten's dead. All right, so not a bad start for, for Broly. For both Broly's, actually. Even Tech Broly, uh, you know, did some pretty significant damage, right? So both Broly's kind of showing out. This is exactly what I was expecting. Now we got a stage where STR Broly can shine even more, actually, right? Because... We got five enemies. That attack all is going to really come to play here. So we just got to make sure we survive this turn. I'm going to put 
Uh, I'm gonna put Cell in the front. Yeah, I'm gonna put Cell in the front. I'm gonna put the Golden Freeze in the middle for most of the attacks. And let me see how we're gonna play this. Okay, so we're gonna pop a Whis again, just to be safe. And let's go for just type advantage, I guess. So we'll go for Gohan first, and then we'll go for Piccolo. And uh, I think what I want to do is once again pop the active skill and try to stun Gohan. Because we can stun Gohan and then we won't have to worry about the Fizz Frieza taking any attacks, right? And his defense, you know, it does build up in longer events, but for Super Battle Road, it's actually not super reliable. So, yeah, let's try to make sure he doesn't take a random super. From Gohan here so I'm gonna give these orbs to him and let's see okay so we're taking a super immediately we got the dodge yo Cell is coming in clutch Cell is looking really good for us today I I mean I've always shown him respect don't get me wrong but I don't use him a ton and uh, I really should be using him more you know like I've always known he was good Okay, I just want to be clear. I was never one of those people that was like, yo, incels trash, uh, you know, bad LR, whatever. Some people say that. Those people are ridiculous. Those people are wrong, obviously. But yeah, I need to use him more, man. I gotta level up his links too. I need to stop disrespecting this man. Anyways, with that said, we might actually kill Gohan with this super. Oh, we didn't, we didn't, we came close though. We came pretty close. Uh, we still have, we still have the Whis actives, so we're probably safe. But I am, I am a little bit concerned. I am a little bit concerned. Um, let me just think about this real quick. So, I actually don't want to do a 12 or, tw or 18 key super because I would prefer to double, um, you know, 12 key to like hit everybody twice but it doesn't really look like we have much of a choice here so obviously we'll just go for our uh, who should we go for because because Gohan's definitely dead that's a guarantee so I'm more worried about the attacks later from other guys and we can basically finish off anyone we want let's see how many attacks from how many people are at the end. Uh, it looks like Roshi's attacking us a decent amount of times. But so is Piccolo. Tien is attacking, but he has type disadvantage against Broly, the tech Broly, and the Boo. So I guess we'll go for Roshi. I think Roshi might be the move here. Okay, so we'll kill Roshi. Um, I kind of feel like I don't know. Okay, you know what? Let's pop her as a snake too. I, I'm too concerned. I'm too concerned about Tech Broly and uh, and Vu. So yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. I, it might might have been a waste. Might have been unnecessary, but better safe than sorry. And then we'll go for Tien here, just with the type advantage. Okay, there we go. Obviously, we're not taking any damage with double items or. I mean, a super would still hurt for sure, but we're not going to take any serious damage. Um, you know, dying is not really a concern this turn. All right, there we go. Killed two guys. And we should be able to bring everybody below 50%. Man, yo, if I had the if I had the double 12 key super, if I was able to just get like one orb, we would have been able to finish off like maybe everybody. That, that, that might have been... Like a one turn, not not one shot, I guess, but like Broly, like STR Broly himself might might have been able to just clear the board, just like that. He's so good. I'm so happy. I'm so glad they made him so good because he was so trash for the longest time, right? And like, I don't know, like it, it, it's it's Broly, right? Like you you want him to be good, but he just wasn't. And yeah, I'm I'm just glad that they gave him this like amazing extreme Z awakening and uh yeah that's all i gotta say oh it, it, quick trivia a ran, random trivia fact for anybody that cares uh str broly was my first uh lr in the game my first lr in my collection 
So, you know, outside of him just being awesome and like being, you know, one of my favorite characters in the entire franchise, he also is. Ooh, I swear we were gonna finish off Piccolo, man. I swear we were gonna finish off Piccolo. This could be, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think Piccolo is dead, right? I think Piccolo, Piccolo's dead. Because I was worried he was gonna super us. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know exactly what went down, but I think Piccolo's dead, and then... Uh, oh, okay, okay, Krillin has a tiny bit of HP. We're gonna let, we're gonna let Tech Broly have his moment right now. Okay, we're gonna pop the active skill, and we're gonna let him do his, you know, crazy, like, one-turn nuke right now. Because, you know, all the, all the attention has been on STR Broly, and I feel like that's a little bit unfair, so... We're gonna let him shine for a bit, um, but uh, what was I saying before? Oh yeah, STR Broly. Yeah, STR Broly was my first LR, um, so he has a special place in my heart, you know, for for various reasons. But yeah, man, he's a beast now. I can't wait for the other like 90% easy A's too, like uh, Rose and Zamasu. Imagine and. Gohan, man, like, what's Int Gohan gonna be doing in terms of numbers? What kind of damage is Int Gohan gonna be doing when this guy gets his Extreme Z Awakening? I can't even imagine. Because he already hits so damn hard, right? Even, even being as old as he is, because of how much attack he gets for each orb, he's still doing so much damage, so... With an easy A... It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. Alright, so... This is an interesting rotation. Um, I'm thinking something like that probably makes the most sense. We're gonna have to use the Icarus here, for sure. And yeah, um, we should be safe on both ends, like the first rotation or the first slot and the third slot. Second slot, we only have one attack. Uh, Boo is definitely our least tanky unit, even with the damage reduction. But that one attack doesn't, you know, um, scare me too much, so. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Let's try to go for this whoever has type advantage. I guess for now this turn we'll go for Goku. Uh, okay, I'll give those to him. And I'm going to save the STR orbs for Broly. And maybe next turn we can just straight up take out Vegeta. Wow. We're still taking that much damage, huh? Still taking that much damage with Cell. Well, I'm just praying that Boo doesn't get supered. And right when I say that, oh, that wasn't too bad actually. That wasn't too bad. That was not nearly as bad as I was expecting. After I saw that first attack, I was like, oh my god. What are we going to be taking like for Boo? But he, he actually tanked better than I was expecting, so we're okay. And yeah, this guy doesn't take damage. He, he just doesn't take damage. 90% damage reduction. The highest damage reduction in the entire game. You guys know that at this point. Okay. Um, so we have Icarus active. I'm going to pop the Princess Snake though, because uh, cause we need to. It's, it's important. And, let me see. Okay, so I'm definitely going for... Ooh, actually, we have to go for Goku. We have to go for Goku. There's way too many attacks. And... Ugh, I don't know, guys. I'm nervous. I'm nervous about this turn. Maybe I should use an 8 or 2. Just to like stack everything, you know what I mean? Like uh, we we might we might need it. Although with 35 35 percent wait no uh yeah 35 percent damage reduction from Icarus and then the 30 percent from Princess Snake it should be enough even for Tech Broly. Okay, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Um, we're gonna pop the active skill for Frieza and try to stun... Well, we're gonna try to stun Goku, just in case he doesn't die, because obviously his attacks are gonna be a lot more damaging than the Vegeta's. 
So, yeah, hopefully, you know, worst case scenario, we don't kill him. We can at least stun him this turn. And maybe I'm just overthinking it. Maybe I'm getting, you know, nervous for no reason. I feel like I might be overthinking it. I don't, I don't think it's going to be that bad. I'm just always, like, super cautious when it comes to these, uh, these runs, you know? Because I've died way too many times to, like, being cocky, being overconfident. And I just don't want that to happen again. Okay, so far so good. We're going to need Tech Broly to maybe crit for us one time. Okay, no crit there. He could also give us three supers. Um, three supers would also be nice. Oh. 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 Oh, okay, okay, it's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. As I said, I, I felt like I was overreacting. I felt like I was being just like, you know, nervous for no reason. This is not going to be that bad. It should be fine. Yeah, 53k. We can, we can live with that. And we're getting the Boo exchange now. So we get to see Evil Boo in action for a bit. This guy actually has a really good animation. Despite like me, you know, not being the biggest fan um, of like Super Boo as a unit. I think he actually has, or you know, this exchange Boo rather. I, I, I think he has a really good animation. So that's going to be fun to see. Uh... So what we're going to want to do is probably, it's actually a tough one. Um, so this guy has a medium chance to dodge, which obviously is only 30%. And he has mm, high chance to, okay, uh, I think I'm going to put him there. It, it, it might be a little bit risky, it might be a little bit risky, but probably not or, or, or okay you know what what we could do <laughs> i'm trying to think through like all the different scenarios here um what we could do is put frieza there pop his active skill obviously try to stun vegeta and goku should be dead after evil boo attacks so if vegeta's done then we're just good to go you know we're, we're just safe um yeah all right that makes sense. Here we go. So I'm gonna pop Icarus. We're gonna pop a Android 8. And then we're gonna kill Goku. Hopefully stun Vegeta. And then there's a nice 18 key super. Or 24 key super actually for Cell. There we go. Okay, looking good, looking good. Yeah, so this animation I really like. I love the, I don't know, it's the blast, like, covering the entire screen. That was nice. All right, Vegeta. I mean, sorry, Frieza. <laughs> You're a thing, man. Give me that stun. Additional, okay, second chance. First time, didn't work. Second time's the charm, let's go. Let's go. There we go. You know, all things considered, this, this run has been... Quite efficient, guys. It's been quite efficient. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, ideally, I would like to get both Broly's, you know, to get their supers off. But I think only one of them will be able to. And I think I'm gonna have to give it to. I'm gonna have to have to give it to SDR Broly. I mean, just in case, we're gonna pop. This guy's active skill, okay. We're gonna let him, you know, get that attack boost. And then, if STR Broly somehow, somehow doesn't finish the job. We're getting a Dokkan attack too, so I just I just really doubt it. If he somehow doesn't finish the job, then Tech Broly can, can get it done for us. All right, here we go. Dokkan attack, let me focus. Let's get all seven or six of these orbs here. Boom, boom. Oh my god, I missed two. I'm a disgrace, man. <laughs> I'm a disgrace. I'm sorry, guys. I tried. 
I tried. I think I put too much pressure on myself, and I, uh, and I choked. That's, that's all you can really say. Well, either way, yo, Broly didn't choke. Okay, Broly did what he was supposed to do. He did his job. And that's all that really matters at the end of the day. So, there you go, guys. Extreme only, Extreme Super Battle Road. Completely dominated by STR Broly. And Tech Broly to a certain degree. Obviously, not as much, but he did help. So, uh, you know, props to him too. But, man, this STR Broly. Like, what can I say about him? What can I say about STR LR Broly? Just good job, Bandai. Good job, Akatsuki. You guys... You guys don't always get everything right. And especially when it comes to easy A's, you don't always get easy A's right. These days you've been doing a lot better though. You know, so I, I don't want to like sound like a hater or anything like that. Like I think the new easy A's these days have all been quite exceptional. But this one especially, oh my god. It just makes me so excited for the other 90% easy A's. Um, they definitely can't come sooner. Definitely can't wait to see what trunks Gohan, Majin Vegeta, and uh, Rose and Zamasu can do. But for now, guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.